Please listen carefully. in West Dorset. We've come here to talk about why the club men formed associations and why they came together as a defence against the plundering and pillaging that was going on in the areas around them in Dorset and across the country at the time. Because in Bemister in 1644 there was a great fire through this town and people were displaced in this town and it started behind me on North Street here and it started between Cornish and French troops under the command of Prince Morris. The Royalists that were stationed here and the fire ravaged through the town and most of the town was destroyed and where Fairfax arrived here in 1640 he wrote about the devastation he saw in this town and what we're going to do is we're going to go up on this hill that's on the side of us where Fairfax's troops were stationed because it's a little bit more quieter there and this is a really busy road junction but we've got there and we're talking about a little bit more about what happened in Bemister in 1644 under the command of Prince Morris, the Royalist in the Civil War. I got a hundred Symbol to crack that repeatable pattern on me, terrible art, the seasonal hazards, baby, making it hot. top of the hill just over Bearminster and we're outside Parnham House. You can see Parnham House directly behind me over there and it was destroyed recently by fire but in 1645 Lady Strode was there and she was killed by one of Fairfax's troops. We're looking over Bedminster Hill, top of the hill, but we're not staying here long because it's freezing. But I want to tell you quickly about a parliamentary report of uh, 1644 in a newspaper on the 29th of April, which talked of, of inhumane, inhumanely fire that was here, which devastated this town, and also reported about some fire at Stone Abbas and Shaftesbury. But what we we'll do is we'll go down by the church, I think, a bit more sheltered. Yep. <laughs> and uh, read a few more uh, descriptions of the fire here back in 1644. So, um, yeah, it's not a good idea really coming up here. <laughs> no. See you down there. See you down there. I'm just going to show everyone. Oh, can we see the wild garlic? I'll oh, just see. Just about. If everyone can see the wild garlic in the woods. We've just had a lovely walk through the woods at the top of the snow. Oh. But it's incredibly cold and no, you're not. Sleep at the door, dreaming of other dreams. Back into uh, 
Minster because we've come off that hill because it was freezing and we found some shelter here in front of St Mary's Church in Bearminster. But I want to quote you a bit out of uh, Tim Goodwin's church, uh, book on the Civil War because there's a letter here from the inhabitants there at Bearminster which was uh, they wrote to Prince Morris at the time of the fire, after the fire. And it goes to say that notwithstanding their weekly tax, they have been much charged with three quarters of your highness's army while it was at Beminster, as also in providing a provision for your highness and your said army, besides the great loss that the inhabitants of the said town have lost that late unfortunate fire, your petitions and the continual charge of relieving the poor and salt should have been burned out of all that ever they had. Now, I think this fell on um, deaf ears at the time because when Fairfax came back to the town in 1645, when he entered the town, Sprigg wrote of the town itself and he said it was a place of the pitifulest spectacle that man could behold. Uh, hardly a house left not consumed with fire, the town being fired by some of the enemy in five places at once when Prince Morris was there by reason of a fallen out between the French and Cornish. So that's why we've come into Bemister because we wanted to demonstrate the devastation that was put upon the inhabitants of Bemister, in this case with the Royalist troops and where these people were displaced in the Civil War. Hence the club men coming together later on in July and late in sort of mid-term in 1645 and forming these associations of body of people to uh, stop the pillage and plundering as such in their towns. So um, there you go, Bearminster in the English Civil War, 1644, a place that most horribly burnt down at the time. Keep an eye on the Clubmen's site, Clubmen 1645, work in progress. A quick note just to mention before we leave Bearminster, on the way to Bearminster in July of 1645 with Fairfax's troops, they arrested a captain of the Clubmen and it was the guy called Captain and Pen Ruddick and he was one of the Clubmen captains from the Wiltshire. Uh, association of clubmen so um, he was arrested on the way here so there you go there is a clubmen link to this story as it comes into 1645 from 1644 so still in Bearminster and a quick mention here to my friend the Bishop Bray the wonders of modern technology he, sent, he just sent me a tweet and it states that when the new model army passed through Bearminster the plight of the people was so great the whole army donated a day's wages for their relief. So there you go, a little tweet from my good friend, the Bishop Bray, the only 17th century comedian. It's up and running. Right, we're walking up the hill, just outside Bam Beeminster. Be Beeminster. Beeminster. Well, I'm not going to oh. stop it. You just keep going. Right, we're walking up the top of the hill, just over Beeminster. No, Beeminster. Right. <laughs> right, we're walking up the top of the hill, just over Beeminster, and we're looking over Palmer House. Parnham House. <sighs> ah. Stop. Yeah, no, there you go. Yeah. Parman House. Okay, it's on. It's up and running. Parman House. Parnham. Parnham House. Parnham, Parnham. Parnham House. Okay, right, we're, on, we're, in the, we're walking up the top of the hill. Okay, let's do it again. Right, ready, take three. Right, we're walking up to the top of the hill in front of Bearminster and we're just looking over Parnham House here. Now, Parnham House caught fire not long ago and was devastated. It was devastated. It, it was. was. destructed. Destroyed. Destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Start again. Right, okay. <laughs> 